going on guys just thinking about uh, I'm doing a little update on the uh, chappy right now I guess uh, all I did so far was just kind of put everything together I got the front shock back on which I bought I used one online it ain't much better than the one that I had and uh, put a couple decal stickers on there in there um, I'm gonna have my own little brand on that you'll see it when I do it I'm putting that on hold the electric or the I don't know the electric stuff isn't working very well the only thing that's working is the uh, tail lights and uh, the tail light and the uh, back blinkers like the rest was working like the well, I guess the one the blinker uh, thing right there is working on the speedo, but the oil light was working. The high beam was turn, you know. Remember, it was turning on my headlight, and these I don't even plugged in because I couldn't figure out where to plug them in at. The uh, kill switch don't work, and the ignition key doesn't work, but it starts without it all. Other than that, I mean, it's. It's running all right. The gears are, I don't know if it's me, but the gears seem to be kind of funny, but I don't know, I'll figure that out. But now I'm, uh, I took the motor off my hopper and I was thinking about, see right now I have a uh, 50, I guess 49cc um, uh, cylinder top end on it. I was thinking about bringing it back to stock, but you know, I, was, I wrote it and it's pretty, pretty damn slow. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know I wanted it back to slow. I'd like to get it at least up to 35 or something like that with the uh, next level pipe. But this thing um, stripped the uh, bolt that goes in. And if, I don't know if you could tell, but. Yeah, this one right here, I uh, put a thread in there. Like I made it bigger and then inserted a thread, which it worked, I guess. I guess it worked, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I mean, it started and it was running, but it wasn't running very well. Like it just was kind of slow. But I'm not sure if that's because I just knocked it down to 49 cc, but I didn't get it up to top speed anyway. I just kind of rode it around and put it back. But I'm going to open this back up to see if it made any scratches or scores in it or whatever. I want to check my uh, boys and read or buys and read. Uh, dang, I forgot the name. The reeds and valves or whatever in it. See if they're opening right. Uh, this is a knockoff carburetor, but it's been on there since the start. And it's worked fine, but I have a Makuni carb that I might put on to see if it'll work. Um, I'm going to open the both sides and check the crank seals, see if they're not leaking out. And uh, Yeah. See if they're not leaking out and causing it to make be hot. Because this thing has always been hotter than it should be. By what I hear on the internet, I think that, you know, there should be a certain temperature. And this one gets up to, it always gets up to like 350 and maybe higher than that. I think I've, it's gotten up to 375 on me running. But on even like on idle, it just gets up to 350. So, I just want to get it to where it's not running. And I got a... I was plugged it for premix. I, I don't know if I want to keep it like that or not. I kind of have a. I kind of want to put the oil pump back in, but <clears throat> I don't know if that'll be any use or not. You know, any better or not. But uh, I guess to get it back to stock, it would just make it seem better back to stock. I mean, I just want it to be kind of original, or you know, back to its original form. But kind of, kind of I don't though. <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking about it. I guess I'll just mess with it and 
think on it while I'm doing it. I might, you know, put some better parts like I'm a low C kid or a, uh, a MLM uh, intake and then maybe a VM18 carb or something. So we'll see what happens and I'll uh, update you on both bikes and yeah, we'll go from there. Peace.